Hi everyone, this is DN channel and we're again talking about so what's going on in Canada because of coronavirus. The first news I, s I saw this morning is that Canada and states closed the border. So people um, who are working um, in other country and logistic companies who travel just for essential purposes, they are, they are allowed to cross the border, but everything else not essential, so not crossing the border for now. Okay, uh, again, our government asked people to stay at home and actually people staying at home, but they get bored, but it's not that important, right? It's more important to stay healthy. Uh, more that's uh, happening, but also a lot of people get recovered. So um, only one person uh, died in Quebec, as long as I know, but government is sure that it tries to keep everything under control and I'm not very scared. I think it's not gonna last long and soon. We're just gonna remember about it about as a, another event in history. And I think our kids gonna learn it at school and like in 10, 15 years, uh, 2020 coronavirus. And they're gonna write the exam about it. Just it's gonna be another step in history and I'm sure Canada will recover and everything will be fine. Uh, only one um, city in Canada uh, decided to have an emergency situation, so it's not that bad. Uh, and government promised financial support for people and for companies who had to be closed or had to uh, cut the staff or just face shortages of uh, people and business. Um, if we go online and we try to buy silver or gold, so it, everything almost everything is sold out so people try to prepare for the inflation which is good because people are thinking about future uh, and i think it's we should not worry much about it uh, especially for ourselves for young generation because as long as i know 80 only so 85 percent of people who get infected they're over 80 years old and as a percentage of people is over 60 years old Okay, so what people are doing now? Because they forced to stay at home and avoid public places, they go to parks. So yeah, you, you probably heard about that companies who contain more than 50 people in one place are getting closed, but companies who contain less than 50 people, they uh, must force company, uh, must force uh, customers to keep the distance of two meters. So the best place to keep the distance is parks. So people go to parks, they bring their kids, go to beaches, they just enjoy weather for now. Uh, people post memes about toilet paper, so for example in casino, they posting memes of trading instead of this chips, they trading for toilet paper, which is so fun. Uh, that's actually, that's not toilet paper on the shelves. I don't know why people are going to eat this toilet paper or what. Yeah, of course, all news only about coronavirus. It seems like everyone forgot that actually still crime happening, still something else is happening in the world. And I found one new, uh, one news about uh, crime. So people try to fool each other about the coronavirus and ask for um, credit card information, but it's still about coronavirus. It, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. What else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, we went to dollar store to buy some stuff and a couple days ago you could buy as much as you want. But yesterday is actually limit the number of essential product by four. Yeah, this is what's going on in Canada. But what's going on in Russia? So Russia is the largest country in the world and they have, so a couple days ago they had only 60 cases, today they have 200 cases. And maybe because uh, it grows so rapidly, uh, Russia decided to close most of their public places. So for example, Russian State Museum was closed until April 10. And public places, are, most of the public places are closed for now. But as long as I know, maybe just a me for a dog, I don't know. But so it's only one death in, in Russia. And people are telling it's because the shelf of this all dry goods person bought uh, just fallen on that person that's why he died not even because of coronavirus yeah yeah and the same in Russia they just buying all rice flour and everything and these kind of shelves are empty uh, but 
it's still pretty quiet in Russia. My my parents telling me it's not that bad. So yeah, that's what's going on. If I find something new and interesting for you, I'll tell you right away. So thank you for watching. Put like and subscribe to my channel. And as I mentioned on Instagram and Facebook, I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers.